Welcome to the Hank Cisco Show. Don't touch that remote. Got a great show today. And if you're hungry, just watch your TV show today. And believe me, you'll be, have a full stomach when you get finished, okay? And we got a little bit of singing. And all my friends in Italy, we got a pizzeria here in, in this area. It'll compare with any of them, okay? All my gumbas, this show goes worldwide. So it'll go to Italy, it'll go to Spain, it'll go wherever it's going to go, okay? Go to China too. Get a little chop suey. Ready? Okay. In this corner, we got... Here they are. They are the owners of this pizzeria, okay? And now, my guest today, Steve. Thank you. Pleasure, buddy. And... Patrizia. Patricia. All right. Tell me how this all began. How, how did you start this bakery, you know? Oh, back in 1994, um, my parents, my dad had a dream. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we started out as just Is he the one that chopped the tree down to the Columbus Monument? Yes, yes, yes he did. Yes, yes he did. <laughs> uh, so he started um, a, a little bakery, a bread bakery, rolls, and we had a little deli. And in the years that followed, we expanded a little, you can say. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got, all right. So, where do you come in? You're the husband, right? I married into it. I'm married, married into the pizza. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, okay. Uh, we've been fortunate, uh, Rock, to expand. Uh, we had a place right next to us was Enterprise Rental Car, which was too small for them, but it was perfect for us because we wanted a dining. And we were able to purchase the building, and we broke through, and we uh, made it a dining room. Yeah. And then the building next to us also came available. We also purchased that building, and we wanted something different. There's a lot of pizzerias out there, but we wanted something different to bring yeah. to the community. Mm -hmm. So our goal was to do old world, new world, where we brought an oven in from Naples, Italy, which bakes a pie in 90 seconds. But we also have traditional wow. pizza too, so it, it gives the customer whatever. A yeah, choice. it's just like I have Italian coffee and American coffee. That's exactly. right. Right. Yeah. Choice. Exactly. And uh, I got a I got a uh, question from the balcony. That lady with the green hat over there. All right, have, tell me something about you. I have a dining room too. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, um, you know, we had a lot of customers that were asking that said, "Oh, it'd be nice, you know, if you had a few tables in here." They would go purchase a sandwich and then go outside on the hood of their car and eat their sandwich out there. So um, we had the opportunity of acquiring the space next door. We broke a, a wall, we excavated it, and we have a 62. When you say we, you talking about your dad. My husband and my he dad. He is yes. a magician, yeah, I'm he telling is. you. Yes, he did all the demolition. He is yes. the greatest. <laughs> He's a great at demolition. He's, He's good, what you're good. calling an Italian yeah. contractor. Yeah, yep, you know, exactly. It's his you know, way we had way. a big tree <laughs> when we we're going to uh, build the Columbus Monument. And a lot of people, don't knock that tree down, you know. So your dad, he cut it. And when he cut it, it was like circumference like that. It was rotten on the inside. We have a picture with him standing inside a rotten, <laughs> rotten tree. So, all right. Now, I got another question from the, that lady with the blue hat. And read what she says. Oh, that's, this is about the, uh, the pizzeria, the old world, the new world ovens. How, how we... Yeah. It's just, again, it's, we have a lot of respect for, uh, the only thing Patricia and I knew about pizza was what, eating it. Is that why you call it that, that, that name? Pizzeria Napolitan. Napolitan. Uh, Napolitan. Yes. Yep, yep. So, I'm Sicilian. That's okay. You make a Sicilian? Uh, we'll do whatever you want. We make a nice Sicilian, yes. So the only thing we knew about pizza was eating it. So we invested, I went away to California to learn how to make pizza from the, probably the best guy in the world, right. Tony Gemignani. And uh, I came back and brought everything he showed me. Back you to went to California, got, California. got certified. Well, wait a minute, example. you brought uh, uh, some, uh, that man, yes. Tony Gemignani, yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. I, we did a, we yes. did a yes, did. Uh, special. Yeah, it's on my, uh, my mm -hmm. TV yeah. show. Yeah. 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 What was his name? Tony Gemignani. Yeah. Yes. And he made, and he's oh. throwing the pizza up in the air. Oh, yes, yes. yes. He's very talented. You know, you know, maybe I don't want no money. But if you want me to, I'll go there and sing. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's some more. You get a meal and that's a enough. shower with Hank. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm sweating. laughs> All right, now we talk about pasta, but we, let's let's talk about pasta now. Tell me that there's another from here. Well, that's this is in the balcony. Yeah. 
Well, um, again, we listened to what our customers were asking for, and they wanted us to make pasta meals and have dinner. So yeah. we uh, started about a year ago, oh. and it's really taken off. Um, we have a special menu on Fridays, like a, or actually we extended it to the whole weekend. Oh. So there's a pasta special of the weekend. Um, during the week, it's the same menu, um, but you can always tweak it the way you know we'll make it how yeah. you like it, of it's, course. It's simple, Hank. We want to do something simple and easy. So it's basically you pick a pasta, you pick a sauce, you pick a meat. Oh, yeah. It's real yeah, simple. Same. Yeah. It's, uh, Make your own. It's basic. But I wanted to, when you walk in there on the right-hand side, you think you are in Little Italy. I'm telling you, all kind of important mac, uh, spaghetti, macaroni, all different kind of uh, stuff grown in Italy, and they put it in cans and send it over to America. You know, uh, really good. I, I, I enjoy that. You know, Thank you. great. But let me say one thing. When the Pope came to Philadelphia, they had 70 secret service men cover, and they all came to your place, and you catered to cater. 70 breakfasts, lunch, and dinners College for 70 yeah. secret service yes. men. It was absolutely yeah. an honor. That's yeah. great, you know. It was an absolute honor. And yesterday I had two commissioners here, Val and, uh, and Ken, and I said, you ever been up at college? Oh, yeah. He said, we like that, you know. So, Lawrence is a very good customer. Really nice. Yes. Okay, here's one more for you. Okay. We're more than a bakery. When people hear our name, Collegeville Italian Bakery, and yes, we just had a pizzeria Napolantan to the name, they think of just um, bread, rolls, maybe cakes, cookies, but we're so much more than that. We have a deli. We have a full deli, like lunch meats by the pound, fresh made sandwiches to order. We have cheesesteaks fresh pulled pork sandwiches, our top round roast beef, we roast it. It's not lunch meat like other places. It's real top round that's roasted with the au jus that comes from the roast beef itself. Oh. It, it's, it makes a lot of difference. Until you come in, Hank, and see what goes on at the bakery, especially first time customers, they walk in and say, oh my gosh, well, I can't yeah. believe I've never been here before. Yeah. Because I think the term bakery, they walk in, they say, I'm going to the bakery for lunch or dinner. And they don't realize that you're, you yeah, can get you know, a pasta meal. You I think soup, it's something like yourself. Palumbo's in Philadelphia. You know, everybody would go there. Yeah. If, and I'm sure Frank Rizzo was still alive. He'd be there. I'd have him over there, you know. Oh, and would. he would manja, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, now. Oh, you were honored to, you were honored. You're nominated for U.S. Today's Best Stromboli? Yes, we're currently in, in the in running. In Pennsylvania? Yes. This mm -hmm. is, uh, they just contacted us well, last so, week. How do you make a... Spon where, where, where did they get that word? Spon uh, Spanoli. What do you call it? No, Stromboli. Stromboli. I'm Sicilian. I have different accent. <laughs> they, they contacted us last week, and they, uh, they mentioned that we've been uh, nominated, nominated yeah. for the best Stromboli in Pennsylvania, which is pretty humbling, Hank, since you look at it, we're only basically three years into what we're doing, our, our expansion uh -huh. to pizzeria. So it's very humbling even to be even yeah. considered for this award. Well, you know what I'm impressed about? The young waiters that you have and young girls, you know, I guess they're 18, 19, 20, and they're so polite and they're right there to come in with the plate, with the yeah. you know. It's, that, you know, Hank, we have, we have three rules. And again, we're nothing without our employees, to be honest with yeah. you. Uh, we're, it's they are, are a big part of our success. But right. we have three rules. Hello, goodbye, and thank you. Customer service these days are out the window, but. Well, let going? me tell you, when they, uh, they were going to reappoint me for uh, mayor, and uh, I mean, not mayor, but uh, ambassador, uh, they tabled it, and the uh, next thing you know, a group of people got together, and they uh, went down there, and the next thing you know, they, they reappointed me uh, ambassador. So. We went up there and had dinner and a celebration for uh, yeah. that, and then and you put it on a big sign. So whenever you go by there, you'll see somebody, you're celebrating somebody, birthday yeah. or coming home from the service or whatever. That, right. was, that was absolutely our honor. There's only one Norristown ambassador at Norristown. Wow, I hope so. I'm 94 it's, years it's, old, ready to ball, Bob and we. <laughs> so, John, I'm ready to roll. And we, we have a, an Italian singer that sings Steve, in casinos fantastic. and... Uh, uh, nightclubs and all, and it's, it's, he said, I want to sing here with the, I hear that the Collegeville Bakery is, is So we're there. going to give you a meal and we're going to give you a show today. All right, tell me about it. You got, you got to, uh, 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 all right, here's another one here. I got one from the man. Uh, oh, one. another one. Oh. <laughs> Customer service. Hank, there's, 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 it's the biggest thing, and I don't care what business you're in these days, is customer service. Right. Our, our goal is the customer's always right. You hear that, but we mean it. Uh, we want that. We want when you come in, 
We want you to be treated correctly. We want you to be greeted. We want right, to say thank right, you. We right. want to say goodbye to you. There's yeah. places you go to, they don't even acknowledge you. Yeah, you're a number. You're a number. Yeah. Number four. Right. You know, you number know, five. Get you know. in, get you out. But, you know, I think that's one of the reasons to our success is our customer service. You know, when you come walking in here, all my uh, the students here behind the cameras, they're all looking. And you brought a lot of food here. Right. <laughs> and we're going to, after the show, we're going to have a little celebration. And mind you, mind you, guys, what all did you bring? Oh, jeez, Patty. What'd oh, my you gosh. Bring? We brought our pork sandwich. We brought our, um, our famous chicken cutlet sandwich. We even talked about that. Um, we brought a pizza. We brought um, our pastas, a couple pastas. We brought desserts, of course. Oh, there's oh, always got a big for cake too. <laughs> well, just to yeah. show you, Hank, that we're more than a bakery. And that's, right. You can get soup. You can yeah. get a pasta dinner. You can get a sandwich. You can get a yeah. salad. You can get yeah. pizza. You can get breakfast pizza. You can. Yeah. Oh yeah, that. I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah breakfast pizza. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, you know, I, your mom and pop are they stay in there and they talk to different people. They go around. You you walk around. You know, just like host, making everybody happy you know yes. I like that you know let's let's get one thing straight Hank if it wasn't for Patricia's mom and dad oh my god we wouldn't be even talking about how this. does he do it it's just yeah. it's, and I understand he made a garden in the back oh yes it's, it's yes his, his greenhouse his yes. greenhouse and now he's uh, making yeah. honey yep and so he's got there's, bees making honey. there's only one Giovanni and it's, just, <laughs> he's a character. God. it's just to show show especially our young kids that his work ethic I yeah I got a couple shots of uh, uh, Shots of him near the garden. I'm gonna flash him on, yeah, okay. you know. You know. And, and the same goes for for my mother-in-law. Her work ethic too. Yeah, when she's yeah. at the bakery. It's yeah. Just... Well, is there anything else you want to tell me about your place? Yeah. You know what? Um, we use um, high quality. Oh, you cater, cater. Oh my gosh, we cater. Oh, you course. cater for oh. Pat Mascara. Oh. And yes. with the, when the Columbus Monument yes. Uh, yes. Uh, celebration, oh my God, he has. Yes. Yes. Food all over there. We have maybe five, six hundred people attend. Yeah. You, you know, they're very good to us. You, you, and we never run out of food. You talk <laughs> about humbling is when the Mascara family calls us to cater their events. That's very humbling to us, which means a lot to us. Yeah. That uh, you know, basically they can get any caterer they want, yeah. and they keep calling the college open. He's a very charit is, charitable yes. man. Yes. In yes. fact, he, he donated. Uh, around seven thousand dollars for a camera where we didn't have any cameras and he, he donated a, yeah. said, buy it send me the bill and then the john john doyle got it so we're we got a lot of people out there helping us you know with this and then next year this studio is going to be the first class i don't i don't montgomery county pennsylvania whatever <laughs> and i'll have you back all right okay so ladies and gentlemen when the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that's all right. Now we're gonna get a singer here, and we're gonna have some food. We're gonna eat with everything. So here we go. Let's go. You're just too to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Pardon the way that I stare There's nothing else to compare The sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real You're just too good to be true can't take my eyes off of you Baby, 
trust in me when I say, well, pretty baby, don't leave me down, I pray, oh, pretty baby, now that I've found you, stay and let me love you. one goes out to the Collegeville Bakery and Catering. Steve dedicates this to his lovely wife, Patricia. Femina Tu si mamma la femina Questo chi fa de ghiangri La graman femina Femina, se tu pigi una vipra, metto si cali anima, non porto posco pa. Femina, se tu ci come su colo, Pero sta vace d'angelo Deserve a bang and a Oh, femmina Tu sei che fai femmina Te voglio bene d'olio Non ti voglio Femina, se tocci con me su cru, però sta faccia d'angelo, deserve a bengala. For your benedictorio, non ti voglio scurda. The name of that song is "You're a Bad Woman." Hello guys, we're here with the NASD TV Hank Sisko Show with all these fantastic kids here. I'm going to let my wife Patricia describe everything we brought here for everybody today. Okay, we'll start off with our Italian wedding soup. We have our chicken cutlet Giovanni. We have our cheesesteak. Our meatball. Our pork sandwich. Our famous turkey clubs. Our dinner meals are penne with chicken parm and our gnocchi rosé. We have our homemade breads and the hit of every party is a three-foot Italian hoagie. Then we have our New York, New York pizza. We have our sticky buns, great every morning. 
We have our cannoli, our homemade cookies, our Italian rum cake, and last but not least, our strawberry shortcake. I want to thank everybody. Collegeville Bakery. Thank oh my you. God! Thank you thank for their. Uh, you're treating all these students have been so loyal all year long, and this is finishing up my 29 years here. In uh, I want to thank John Doyle and all the students that were behind the cameras all year round, and then all the ones that were here 29 years ago. So I want to thank everybody, and here my little rock. <laughs> my great grandson, Wayne Warhol. All right, Rock, I'll say, all right, that's enough there. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank also Bridgeport Trophy that donates the little gifts I give out to all the people. So, I want to thank everybody. May God bless each and every one, and I'll see you in September. And we have all new cameras, we'll be in good shape. And our singer, Steve. Steve, what's his last name? Silicata. Right. He's going to donate one night to go and sing at Collegeville Bakery. And maybe we're going to treat all our students there. Okay? <laughs> You're all going to be well. Because everybody, when the moon hits your eyes like the big pizza pie at Grimora. God bless you. And goodbye, and I'll see you in September. Rock, rock around the clock. Thank you.